RC addicts out there, this is Team RC and this is uh, part 8 of the uh, Trail Finder 2 build. So yeah, uh, last uh, last part was uh, we were doing the steering link, serve and all that. But now what we're going to do is we're going to do the transmission. So basically we're going to need our second servo, so I used the same uh, servo as before. Well, I have another one on. So I bought the same two. You could, uh, for this for this part, you could buy a, a cheaper one, plastic gears if you want, but uh, I just said I'm gonna buy two, so yeah. Basically, you have to do the same thing with your knife. I'm gonna close it right now, but uh, cut out the edges so we can fit it in like so. Uh, so now, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna leave this for now. I'm gonna do a rod. So we need the 20 millimeter uh, treaded rod. Did I drop out? You got two of them, so yeah. It has to be 35 millimeters, so 3.5 centimeters apart each. Just gonna drive it in a bit. Um, I'm just gonna see how much do we need. Let me see if one more turn in. And one more. Okay. Let me just see if that's enough. Or do we need more? So we need 3.5 centimeters. Okay. So, so you see, yes. Turn. So it's a bit smaller. And as you see, you have to do it from the holes. But I won't turn. Something like that should be it, I guess. Um, it should look well. And yeah, as you see, hole to hole. It equals 35 millimeters. So, I'm going to flip the page here. So I'm also looking on the instructions on the side here. Uh, so basically now, we're going to mount this onto our servo arm. So I'm going to take this. I'm actually going to do it the other way. Yeah, I'll do it this way. Basically, because there's more space there than where my servo is, so I'm just going to drive it in completely. Sorry, it's taking long, guys. Just place this. Um, yeah, like so. So I'm gonna just turn it and just change this because I had a different driver on right now. But I'm gonna have the right one on. And now we're also gonna need a bolt. I'm gonna take one out because we need one right now. So I lock the bag and try to put them out. And we need our wrench. I'm just gonna put this on a bit and then put this. And now what we're just going to do is basically just screw it in. It's going to make it fast for you guys. Um, I, would, I, would, I, would, I would do this off camera, but... Okay. It'll be something like this. Like so. And just one more time, just to see. Just to be sure, because oh, it's better to check than, you know, it's broken on your... And then when it's broken, and you know, you're mad. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is uh, I'm gonna take out the Phillips screwdriver for this. Take out the screw, screw here. Sorry about that. And we're gonna place this just like this. We're gonna place it sideways about this much. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna put this, uh, change this size after. Don't worry, but we don't have the other part, so we're just gonna put it how we see it. But don't worry, uh, I'll maybe make a video when I'll be dry fitting or something like that. We'll see. Okay, so just put this in. Okay, 
So now what we're gonna do is um and change up the steps a bit. Okay, we're gonna put it in like this, move it, and find our 10 millimeter screws. I didn't have them. Over here, yeah, 10 millimeter. Two of them because this one doesn't get that much power as the other ones, as the other servo, so it's gonna use less torque, so less torque, less screws. Okay, so it's only at the top hole. I'm gonna screw it in. Either way, if you would try to, um, I'm just gonna put this one in, but I'm gonna do the other one on camera. But, um, either way, if you try to screw in from the bottom, there's no holes. You would have to drill holes and buy the kit to make the tracks and, and the holes and all that. I think you could see that. Not really, but okay. So yeah, it would cost you money for making something that you don't need. So, I'm just put this in. Remember, these surfaces have cheap plastic on them. These screws keep on going and going. Okay, like that, because they make holes in the plastic. Okay. As you see, this one's on top, but this one's ready. In a bit. Okay. So we got our servos in. It's good. Let's just see if I put it in the right way. Yeah. Okay. Let's turn the page. Uh, and do this. We need another 10 millimeter screw. Oh, but one this time. We're not going to be putting in. Shaking the bag. Let it fall down. 10 millimeter. 10 millimeter. These bags get a bit brown when there's a light on them. So, now this. Oh wait, um, you do it from the top. This and that. And just turn it until I get it through. Just gonna screw in this and hold it for you like that so you can see you guys. Should be something like that. So this would be changing your see here, we're gonna pull it out. Not enough. Pull it again. I'm gonna do the low gear and then put it in. The first gear. This is the motion we'll be basically doing. Don't do it enough. But. Let me see. Uh, so now we're okay. gonna do the bumpers, the front. Uh, well, right now we're doing the rear bumper, so the. So yeah, and after we're gonna do the front bumper. I'm also gonna buy a winch for this, as you see, they already have holes for the winches. So we're gonna need 15 millimeter uh, set screws and our little driver. Took off the other driver and put this one on because we need them. Okay, so we need two. Okay, drop, and then this one has to drop two. And as we see, I'm, I'm like right before the end and there's a lot of screws left, a lot of parts and yeah. So I don't know. <laughs> Why is there this much pieces left? Supposed to be less, but okay. So we're basically just gonna put it in this one here, and just be screwing it in. Oh, so 15 millimeters, as you see, it's big. Put the pressure on it and turn. So I'll be back. Uh, well, actually, I'm gonna do this off camera. I'm not gonna do this like this. So yeah, guys. If you have any com if you have any question, just leave a comment below. Yeah, just leave a comment below. You can like the video if you like this build. That's your choice. And you could also subscribe. Don't forget it's on top. 
and uh, you don't have to and it's also for free so you don't have to pay for it it's totally free so I'm gonna do the rear bumper and the front bumper uh, off camera it's gonna take too long and yeah you're gonna be bored seeing just me putting 15 millimeters screws and it's really hard so yeah guys uh, hope you like and uh, I mean next time